Hello folks and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Grimrock. Let's head off and uh, resurrect uh, Zargal, why don't we? I did a bit of checking on my older videos and voila! That I think is one of the only uh, healing, resurrecting, whatnot crystals around. Uh, uh, at least on this level that I've seen. Mm. I sense nastiness in the near future. I hope my senses are wrong. This kind of feels like a maze where you can back yourself into a corner and just be utterly pulverized. By loads of enemies like those. Kind of feel like I need to switch to my ice magic right about now. Hello there. That hits? No, but you did. Five hundred experience, boys. Bloody hell. Well, worth a lot. Hi there. Hello. Why don't you come come over here? No no no. Mm don't want to head that way. I want you to come over here to me. To me! Sir, to me. That's right. Get this way. Yeah, I know you can throw interesting fireballs and stuff. Come on! How long do I need to stay over here? To lure you in. Come on, come on, come on. Hello. Like so, that's the way to do it. You play your guitar on the MTV. Oh, I sh probably shouldn't hum that kind of tunes uh, unless I want to get uh, copyright infringement warning or something. Which I've been uh, really, really, really lucky thus far with. Uh, I've only had. Uh, Notifications, uh, which have basically... Oh, crud! Okay, well, that wasn't such a bad thing. But yeah, as I was saying, I've only gotten uh, such notifications that don't actually count as warnings. They just uh, mean that I didn't even notice this before I... Uh, did the whole general uh, commercialization thing. Uh, you aren't allowed to commercialize those videos. So uh, I guess they show ads uh, regardless of whether you've uh, commercialized your own channel or not. And they just, uh, all the ad income goes to the company who holds the copyrights. And those are, of course, the um, Tropico bits, since those have a uh, soundtrack that is quite uh, noticeable. Okay, uh, I've taken care of all the bad guys here. I'm kind of guessing that... Ah, yes, that closes door and there is a button behind it, which does what? Close this one. Ah! <coughs> Crud. Right, well, I uh, figured the puzzle out at least. Not all the way through, but partially. 
water, yeah, that's a runny, timey thing. I need to be fast on my feet and uh, not make mistakes while running. Mistakes like that. Yes. I thought as much when I uh, took one step and <laughs> too, too many. So, uh, as you can probably guess how the rest of it goes, there are several other buttons to which I need to find the route. And then the end, maybe the last one gives me some bonuses or something. I can actually get to that button just by pressing these two that I've already pressed. But Oh, and also I just noticed I'm getting kind of beat up health-wise, so um, I haven't done this on camera yet, but let me make a save here. Just so I don't have to rest or load from ages ago. <coughs> like so. Yeah, the timing on that one was horrible. And actually, I dodged the wrong way for me to get to that. Hmm. Oh well. At least I didn't fall this time. And yeah, this is impossible to do. Ah. <sighs> This is impossible to do um, if any of you guys are burdened or... Actually, I've heard this from a friend who also played the game. There is a kind of a nasty bug-like thing, uh, meaning that... Um, oh crud. Uh, I need to concentrate on taking this guy down. Cause could have hurt me. Heck. And now I'm stuck here. Fantastic. I wonder what the pressing this button dot did for the brief moment that I actually managed to push it. Whoa! Hey. That is kind of neat. Actually got me around. Nice. Uh, as I was saying, um, apparently there is a kind of a bug or rather design feature that kind of blows, um, meaning that his uh, computer is uh, kind of slow and old. And um, some of these puzzles uh, he's unable to finish because uh, he can't make his party move fast enough with the choppiness of that uh, that old rig. So <laughs> let me just make another temp save because I want to know what the button does. Oh. I thought I could uh, take a shortcut over there, but apparently not. So yeah, for example, this kind of puzzle would be... If it's difficult for me, it's damn near... Im <coughs> damn near impossible for him, because of his uh, uh, older computer. And by damn near impossible, I mean that... Uh, he uh, tried one of these uh, for, I don't know, quite a long while and when he uh, didn't succeed he got frustrated at the game and uh, just rage quit and didn't start it up again. Ooh. 
Ringmail armor. Wondrous. So that's uh, plus six from plus three. Although now uh, Larna is heavily burdened. And sort of next, what is this? Attack power, accuracy, and speed. Tiny bit slower speed, but five points up as in attack power and accuracy by ten. So, whoa! We got ourselves a new sword. That's all kinds of brilliant. But now, unfortunately, Lorna is at the uh, at her weight limit. So, ah, I wonder how we can tackle this, cause. Uh, Yeah, pretty much everyone is nearing their weight limit. Can get rid of a couple of these torches. Get to give them to Edna. Even getting rid of all three isn't enough. Bit these punching daggers. Okay, it's time to make sacrifices. Uh, I won't be using these uh, throwing knives like ever. I want to keep carrying these gems even though they are kinda useless. And by kinda I mean totally useless. Also, don't need that one any longer. And... Yeah, it pains me to get rid of that punching dagger because none of my guys will use them, but... Yeah. Have to real choice in the matter. And this time you won't be getting Zergal as a fairway, farewell present at the end of the episode. You sudden rotten bastard. No, no, no. Thank you. But yeah, that was Brilliant that room was. We got ourselves uh, better armor. She is actually at 37 right now. And uh, that sword seems kind of wondrous. Oh, and there was actually fluff text, which I missed. The priestess of ne uh, priestesses of Nex have embedded this blade with strange minerals that give the weapon incomparable sharpness. Hmm. Thank you, priestesses of Nex. You are uh, making our lives uh, just a tiny bit uh, safer and uh, easier when exploring this place. Let's uh, prepare a fireball just in case. Oh, that was the multiple times teleporting device type thing. And I believe this is the final key that we need. That type. And of course it isn't. <laughs> Sudden fucking <laughs> Treasure store. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, we got only one single uh, key and uh, che three choices. This one has a book. This one I think looks like a crossbow. And uh, these look like alchemical ingredients and bombs. And yeah, we can only open one of these. The rest will stay closed till the end of the game. Okay, I think this is a good time to end the video then. Uh, when we come back, I make a choice in wh which one of these to open and what treasure to take with me for the uh, upcoming levels. So, once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye for now.